Marx Democracy Today, Nigerians have been urged to collaborate in uh, ending uh, the culture of impunity, which has continued to strengthen the corruption in, and injustice in the country. The Chairman, Human and Environmental Development Agenda, Heather Olariwaju Suraju, gave the admonition on Sunday during a media civil society party to commemorate June 12th with focus on safety of activists and journalists and fighting corruption. Suraju, who, in a bid of exposing uh, the enemies of this country, fell into their claws, stressed the need for anti corruption crusaders activists, journalists, whistleblowers, among others, to be protected against powerful forces of corruption when they fight back. While narrating his ordeal, he advised that a focus should be on how to stop impunity, which has pervaded every sector of this country. The task that we need to focus on is how to stop impunity, the culture of acting without fear of expectation of consequence. It is impunity that made Adoke give instructions that to change the country by over a billion dollars, even when he was not in office. It is the same impunity that emboldens the conspiracy that led to the frivolous suits against me. It is the same impunity that is playing out with the CPN governor and, uh, and his involvement in partisan politics. It is the same impunity that is brightening the chance of Malami and the light who wants to remain ministers while contesting elective office and even attended the valedictory service that was uh, organized for them uh, by the president. Impunity is the reason why some of the journalists, whistleblowers and activists who are attacked never get justice. Also speaking, the director of Democracy Vanguard, Adeo Lashweton, underscores the significance of June 12, which according to him was to wave goodbye to poverty but has become entrenched in the country. He shared the view of uh, Suleiman Arigbabu on the need for collaboration, uh, holding our federal legislators accountable uh, for poor policies, among other issues in Nigeria. So our job now is to, all of us, not to see it as the job of few people. No, it's our job. And what we can do is to advance the movement for democratic and of course economic change in our neighborhood, in our offices, in our movement, in our organizations. Rally around them to put pressure on them when they win. We know the parties, the, the notorious parties and individuals. We don't, they don't need any introduction to us again. We know them. They know us. They have spoken to us in the language of bad economy over the years from 1999 to now. So this is where we have to look back if we want June 12 not to lose its flavor. Resolve as a people to fight and confront corruption and impunity. Because for us, we are convinced that all the problems of Nigeria is rooted in corruption and impunity. We also believe that the leadership recruitment process in this country needs to be properly addressed. Primaries are over. The Nigeria media, the civil society, we need to hold the Lawan and Bajabi and Mila leadership of the Eighth National Assembly to accountability. They must not leave without completing this process of constitutional review.